life force and seven bodies whenever you feel attracted or repulsed towards someone it is because of your etheric body life force is the living energy within us islamic tradition says when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created man in his image and he put the room within it could not stay because there was darkness then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took out the nur from the forehead of hazrat paigambar sallallahu alaihi wasallam then the nur the room could stay within it has been given various names light pran life force alan white but it is a form of energy that comes with birth and disappears with death energy that comes with birth and flows through the rest of the life is known as life force this energy manifests itself it manifests through physical body as incoming and outgoing breath breathing has two aspects the incoming and the outgoing breath however we assume these as one breath is life breath is energy breath is the bridge between life and death between alpha and omega breathing is one of the most fundamental systems it needs to be looked after because if you are not breathing properly you are not fully alive and if you are not fully alive then almost everywhere you will be holding something even in love you will be holding you will be unable to communicate entirely something will remain incomplete one who does not breathe properly cannot remain in the present he cannot be meditative also if you are not living in the present you cannot attain to the flowering of meditation remember your body is the temple of the unknown it is a miracle of the unknown do not neglect it respect it the harmony that your body creates may become the door to inner harmony all that you experience within manifests through the body breathing is the alphabet of the body just be aware of it body is the cross that has to change alchemically that is why my so much emphasis is on the cross also through breathing you can be easily bridged to meditation the incoming and outgoing breaths are two wings of one reality but we continue to neglect this we take them as one each one has a polarity it exists at two poles it cannot exist otherwise thus these two poles along with tension and harmony create energy just as your car battery your electrical energy at home has two poles and electricity bridges these two poles it is quite similar to electrical energy generated through magnetic poles the breath has two aspects the incoming and outgoing the incoming breath is quite contrary to the outgoing breath and vice versa at a single moment the incoming breath is like birth and outgoing breath is like death both are happening every moment when you inhale life comes in 
and when you exhale breath goes out thus every moment there is life and death this is polarity with this comes life energy ellen white this is how life energy manifests itself in the physical body life energy takes both and then after the span of time it disappears this we call death birth is a manifestation and death is even a greater manifestation of the same phenomena this incoming and outgoing breaths are like day and night this life energy manifests differently through seven bodies of which we are composed the physical the etheric the astral the mental the spiritual the cosmic and the last the nirvana body in each one of these bodies there will be a corresponding incoming and outgoing breath in the mental body this incoming breath assumes the form of thoughts coming and the outgoing breath as thoughts going every moment thoughts come and go in the mental body this incoming breath assumes the form of thoughts coming and the outgoing breath as thoughts going every moment thoughts come and go out these thoughts are energy so these represent the incoming and outgoing breath in the mental body there is a correspondence between breath and thinking this is the reason that our thinking pattern changes with breathing patterns when you hold your breath the thoughts cease to move within and when you stop breathing in the physical body the thoughts stop penetrating at the level of the mental body when there is a gap between two breaths there will certainly be a gap between two thoughts when you start meditation your breathing gets calm breathing becomes rhythmic just as breathing is an essential prerequisite for the physical body so too thoughts are essential for the existence of the mind without thoughts and thinking mind cannot exist before you breathe in the air it exists outside you so to thoughts exist outside your mind as you breathe in air comes in so whatever air you are breathing in is not yours it comes from many sources it remains yours only as long as the air is within you as soon as the air comes out it becomes cosmic and can move to another source so is the case with thoughts just as my breath can become yours so to my thoughts can become your thought as your breath goes out thoughts also go out air exists the way thoughts exist air can get contaminated and so to can the thoughts with this a misunderstanding comes we begin to consider the air that we breathe in as pran the life force indeed pran is energy but it manifests itself only through the polarities of incoming and outgoing breath 
the energy that takes the breath in is life force or pran the breath itself is the container or the carrier to take the energy in the breath is not energy with this there are certain particles that come in william rice has called these as orgone the energy that takes the breath in is pran the breath itself is the container or the carrier to take the energy in the energy that takes the breath in and throws out is pran in the same way the energy that takes the thought in and then takes the thought out is pran so what happens at the mental level also happens through other bodies as well we are aware of these two bodies we are aware of our incoming and outgoing breath we are aware of our thought patterns but we do not see any relation between breathing and thoughts the moment breathing ceases the movement of thoughts also ceases we are only aware of the physical and the mental bodies only these two are known to us you can understand these easily what happens in the physical body and mental body also happens in other layers of your being the second is the etheric body it has its own incoming and outgoing processes such process you will feel in each of the seven bodies since you are only familiar with the physical body and its pran you will feel such process only as incoming and outgoing breath in that case you will always misunderstand the manifestation of pran in various bodies it always happens whenever there is any feeling coming to you of another body or its pran it always happens as incoming and outgoing breath it is so because this is the only experience that you know you only know the manifestation of pran as vital energy in the physical body however at the plane of the etheric body there is neither breath nor any thought movement their pran manifests as influence there is simply incoming and outgoing influence sometimes it happens that you come in contact with someone who you have never known before he has not yet spoken to you yet still something about him comes into you you either allow this influence to come in or you do not this influence is subtle in nature it may create an attraction in you towards that person or may cause repulsion when the influence creates an attraction then it is love if not attraction then repulsion you know the what you call this do you want me to tell you it is this repulsion is hatred whenever you feel attracted or repulsed towards someone it is because of your etheric body this process of attraction and repulsion goes on every moment without any break you are continuously bringing the influences either within or throwing it out all incoming influences are love 
and outgoing influences are hatred. The two poles always exist together. When you love someone, then certainly a moment will come when you feel repulsed. The incoming influence brings love sentiments and then with outgoing influences the sentiment of hatred comes in. Thus each moment love is followed by the mo moments of repulsion. Vital energy always exists, always exists in polarities. This energy cannot exist on one pole alone. And when you try to make it happen, you are trying the impossible.